Uh, good evening, Steve Slavic here, Motorcycle Racks, with the domain names MotorcycleRacks.net, MotorcycleRacks.us. I want to tell you about my U.S. designed and built motorcycle carriers that have been building since 1999, and since 07, the large motorcycle carriers like this one here. Um, this one here is rated for 1,000 pounds, and it has uh, some features I want to tell you about. So first of all, it's important that you understand that this isn't trailering. When you trailer, um, the bike and the vehicle are in the same direction. They're being hauled in the same direction, same orientation. When you slam on the brakes, the nose dives. When you accelerate hard, it kicks back. So um, that's not the case here. In this case, we have a narrow platform. We want to maintain high ground clearance. So we don't want long horizontal outriggers dragging the ground. So something with the height as well. Um, you, your, your height that you want to have the carrying tray off the ground is between 14 and 18 inches on a SUV or pickup truck on a motorhome, 15 to 18 inches ideal height. If it's too low, you drag the ground. If it's too high, then it's, it makes it a difficult challenge to put this up there because of the size of the bike and the center of gravity. So the carriers I manufacture are modular, so they can be scaled, they can be, uh, I can give you the right height by giving you the right attachments to set your height just right. And um, the tray moves also, so once we select a carrier, we're going to select you with the specified carrier based on your vehicle and your bike. I have a database of all the bikes and their dimensions, so you can give them to me. And we'll set you up with, with a carrier that suits you. The handlebars are right here. Keep it tight to the vehicle. No excess weight sticking out there. And um, other features consist of uh, how do you secure this bike? How are you going to hold this bike up? Um, Right now, you've got these two vertical bars that pinch the bike, touch the bike, and going down the road, they're cradled. There's no way the bike can get off of there. It's very secure, tied down. Also note, vertical stabilizer, or the uh, horizontal stabilizer here, and the wheel chock in the front, traditional wheel chock, um, where you pull the uh, handlebars tight up against the, the chock and compress the fork slightly. So that's the features, the adjustability, the fact that you can move the tray to locations, specify the correct one. Now I'm going to show you how it loads. That's where the vertical bars help you. Um, I, would, I would say this is an advanced mechanical project, not for the faint of heart. Get yourself a partner, hopefully someone who's mechanically inclined, who likes to build things, and maybe works with metals. So now I'm going to go through the task of tying it down. Now that the bike is loaded, I want to show you about the six-point tie-down that we just incurred. Um, there's two vertical stabilizer bars here that cradle the bike. As I said, there's no way it's going to get off of there. It's tied at the top together to keep them together. The traditional wheel chock in the front, there's tied down handlebars pulling it up against the wheel chock, compressing the fork slightly. And then now there's also lashing straps on the wheels to, to clamp the wheel into the tray. There's no way it can get off of here. For solutions on one-stop shopping for your motorcycle carrier needs, come visit us on the World Wide Web at MotorcycleRacks.net. MotorcycleRacks.us. Thanks for watching.